Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your reading for the 6th to the 12th of April 2020. And welcome to new viewers of course as well. And welcome to my Cyber Angels, my uh, supporters, my permanent and supporters. Thank you for your faithful following and for liking and sharing the videos. And I've got a news for you, uh, all my uh, cyber angels and new uh, viewers. If you do subscribe, make sure, it doesn't matter to which channel, but make sure that your subscription is still there. Um, because we're in the fully in the new system now. And there is also, when you hit the bell, there's three options. Private, or quiet, or to all. So subscribe to all and you'll be notified it's because I've had news from uh, some of my cyber angels and viewers uh, that uh, they are not getting notified. So that is the issue at hand. So make sure that you are subscribed to your favorite channels and look under the bell. When you click the bell, there are three options and click on the options all, A double L. And then you should be uh, notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. There's more um, information underneath this video in the description box. And also if you click on this little white circle with the eye, then it will take you to the website and then you can see uh, what is on offer and what has been updated, etc, etc and what I do. I'm using the Linamon deck, the Mystic deck, the Tea Leaf deck, the Charms and the Surrender uh, deck and the Inspiration deck from Wayne Dwyer. Okay, let's get started. For your first card, um, Aries, we've got the tree. So your health might be uh, playing up a little bit at the moment or somebody in the family as the tree also represents a family tree. You might feel trapped at the moment because this tree is on its own. Like a lot of other trees, they stand quite far apart from each other. Uh, and they can be in a group, but they do stand apart. So you need space so you can branch out and let them give those branches air and let the wind blow through the branches and uh, blow away the old cobwebs like all those little leaves fluttering away there as you can see hopefully um, so go outside if you can and uh, let those old cobwebs blow away sit peacefully and serenely uh, somewhere in on your own and meditate or contemplate especially when the sun is shining when it's a beautiful day we might be in lockdown but you can still sit in the garden or on the balcony or open the door um, and let the fresh air in because we are on lockdown i hope it's, uh, most of you aren't if not all of you and it will be passed by the time you see this it is uh, dreadful uh, what the world has to, uh, what the world's going through and mankind, um, but we have to try and cope with the situation. So be aware of your health and uh, protect yourself as much as possible and take action to do so because we've got the Queen of Wands. So she speaks of action and she's determined. She always gets what she wants or she tries to anyway. This could be a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo and she's a woman of action and determined. De de determination. She's creative uh, to get, um, she, she will try to be creative as well. If she can't get what she wants, she'll think of a way <laughs> to give you a reason why or how um okay um if you are not going to meet queen of wands then it could be you you might be more determined than anything else no wild horses would drag her away from her ideas or actions okay aries um uh if i'm correct 
then the Queen of Wands is also Leo. So you might even meet a Leo. Don't exclude the other um, zodiac signs like Aries yourself or Sagittarius. So it could be an Aries that you might be meeting or might be present in your uh, at, could be regarding uh, to um, a Leo's health, you see. You can see the lines, so she does represent Leo. But you are in your element because it's a fire sign, so it could be your health, your space, or somebody in your family that is a Leo. So there you go. That's the explanation I have. Now your T leaf uh, card says take care or there will be a loss of material wealth so take care take care of yourself in this instance take care because it's lying underneath um, the tree and that could be also your material wealth your health and wealth being if you are sick then you can't take care of your uh, material things so take care I've got the sign of the masculine here, you can see that, that's the little arrow on the circle, so it might be, um, let's have a look, somebody masculine, so take care or there will be a loss of material wealth, so there could be a man taking your material wealth away, or, uh, yeah, he can help you with something that is of material wealth. You have five, so you are out of balance at the moment. And it could be because you're stressing out. It could be a man you're worrying about. And I don't know, I'm getting something with a man, although you've got the masculine side. Be more like a man. Be business like uh, Aries, like a man, uh, steadfast, business like, stand your ground. You can do that. You have a strong will. You will prevail. Now, on Wednesday, we have the path. Perhaps it is material wealth, the path to material wealth that is at risk. Because um, we do have the card, take care. Um, if you are, uh, let me put it this way, material wealth could be your job. It could be your job that is at risk or your business. Do you see, Aries, what, uh, how this works? I couldn't get out of the, the, the reading here with the cards, what they meant in the sign, the masculine sign. It, you could be meeting a man, of course, uh, uh, with the masculine uh, sign, and it could be a masculine man or a man that could uh, uh, cause a threat for you to lose your material wealth. But coming to Wednesday uh, in the whole reading, the energy can flow throughout the whole week, but also on the days that I'm naming. But remember, time is man made, the path. You're choosing, you're, you've got a choice here to choose which path are you going to take. Are you going to work from home? Are you going to stop uh, work or are you going to start business? So there you go. You know what it resonates with. You've got an angel number here, 22. So that means that the angels are with you. And uh, 22 becomes a 4. 2 and 2 is 4. So there is... The question about stability here, sorry about that. So there, again, you've got the Ace of Wands. This could be a new passion because we do have a, a, a man uh, standing here and it is an Aryan because he's got wearing a sheep's, uh, uh, sheepskin. Uh, Ace is, has no specific person um, attached to it or it doesn't represent a person it represents this sign the ace is a new beginning and uh the ones stand for action action is job work then we've got um, 
creativity. That's a hobby. Uh, uh, then we have passion, uh, a love situation. So either a, a, a short fling or a relationship. Uh, then we have logic. The higher signs are logical or all. But I, I see here, because you've got two person cards, a woman and a man, it could be a, a, a couple. So there could be a new beginning in passion, a new beginning in partnerships, um, a new beginning at a job or work or perhaps um, a business. Perhaps you are starting a business. You've got the world in your hand. How beautiful that ace is. There we go. He's holding the world in one hand. So perhaps you are choosing, you are cho making a choice on Wednesday about perhaps about this new beginning. Perhaps uh, your your health deteriorated uh, because. Um, not because of, uh, of the virus what is going around at the moment, but uh, your boss was a man and he was being uh, horrible, as sharp as a shark. He was always on the hunt and he was doing you your brain in, <laughs> as they say in England, he was doing your head in. He was uh, always hunting and on your back and that wore you down and that was no good for your health. Or gave you headaches. Never mind, you're taking care of your material wealth uh, and your health. That's why I said health and wealth. Well, look at this. Have faith because you've got the cross here. But have faith. The cross. That is faith and trust yourself. As others have trust in you and others believe you and have faith in you to get things done. Okay, you don't, you'll have a different cross to bear. That is what I'm hearing as well. You'll have a different cross to bear uh, after you've made that choice and you've got the horseshoe. And that means good luck. Awesome. I'm sorry I sound very mm, haste or very. Uh, Based like voice, I hear it myself. I've got a sore throat, so uh, yes, I've been speaking too much. So I'm sorry about that. And you've got the bunch of flowers. So this this decision that you're doing is giving you a good base. A four. It's an angel job. The angels uh, uh, um number. The angels are with you. <clears throat> You've got a nine, and, and a nine means an ending, a new beginning. Definitely new beginnings. And it's lying, it, the flowers means you're going to get a gift, or you're going to have luck. Somebody could give, bring you a gift, and also there is luck. Well, you this is a very lucky week for you. Aries, because you've got the horseshoe, you've got the bunch of flowers, and you've got the ten of cups. So, emotional fulfillment. This could be partnering up, like I said, because you've got the woman and the man here in business or in love. If it's a passion and you want this passion to last, then make sure, sure that you know their boundaries and your boundaries. Otherwise, you'll get burnt out. So, if you want a lasting, loving relationship, know what your boundaries are and what their boundaries are. Here, you, this in this deck, they are holding hands. Okay, emotional fulfillment, an end of negativity, and a back to positivity. And you have the woman's sign here. So. A nurturing na uh, nature. This uh, you'll be more nurturing this week, or you might be meeting a lady, like I said. So the woman could be a fire sign, and that could be a Leo, uh, as she the Queen of Wands represents Leo, or you have the masculine sign, and that can be um, 
the um, king, uh, the king of wands is uh, Aries that could be yourself uh, but there is a, a possibility of a couple now the tea leaf card is the funnel a period of frustrations lessons to be learned learn from the last and funnel it so on Friday you uh, might be meeting a lady and uh, this uh, lady could be a sign she could give you a warning a uh, period of frustrations you might have a uh, frustration with an other uh, female and learn from the past that is what I'm hearing uh, lessons to be learned but I'm getting to hear learn from the past this could be um, a woman that could be jealous um, of you with the luck that you are having this week or heed advice from this woman um, so that the period of frustrations uh, will be short she's she might uh, this is the advice that I'm giving and I'm a woman but I'm not a fire sign so I'm telling you learn from the past funnel sift the information that you get especially from this reading take it uh, take what you can from this reading if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign now so you're going from a nine to a ten boom you're doing well so to maintain the emotional happiness uh, there could be an extension in the family uh, that there could be something uh, happening that celebrations reunions and it could be with a woman okay could be with your mother could be with your sister anyway you for Saturday and Sunday you have the ring so I was talking at the beginning uh, partnerships this could be um, in love or uh, in work uh, I think this is more related to uh, career um, as we have been talking about career and especially in this environment uh, at the moment um, that we cannot go outside and mingle with others so I think it's more career orientated that you're partnering up and you have to take care of your material wealth in that partnership uh, you've got 25 7 that becomes 7 so luck is on your side big time but I've got a feeling there's somebody jealous. Then you have the four of pentacles. Hold, you are holding on to what you believe is yours and that is you. You might have even closed off your heart. So, you know, you know what it resonates to and um, uh, what you, uh, what the warning is. Uh, I would say, don't close off your heart or if you've closed off your heart open up your heart because there are beautiful things to be had and uh, yeah partnerships joining forces together you stand strong so learn from that and i said learn from the past and you've got the four of pentacles so open up that solar plex you've closed it off look again this man is holding pentacles in front of his chest his heart and his solar plex so open your heart let love in form this partnership if you would like because you've got the ring you've got the ten of cups and they've joined hands in this deck so love is there good luck is there um, that is also material wealth because it's something that you can touch you can touch each other what you cannot touch is the spiritual side the word love you have to learn to express it by opening your heart okay wow this is turning out much and much better than i ever expected four 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 there was something that i said or was it uh yes four here you are four again S uh, stability a good foundation wow amazing and you've got the heart you've got the heart and it's a quirky little heart not i'm not talking about your heart but it says heart 
my cat love thank you've got a shape heart okay so there might be a female cat wow and we've got the cat here amazing so your cat might be uh, a fire sign if it's born in august it will be a leo and a little footprint so open your heart to love perhaps your cat really quirky and you've got the face you uh, uh the face the face is a secret admirer you might have a secret admirer Ooh, so open your heart if you have nobody then there is a possibility to start a new partnership like i said the couple the couple so it is going throughout the whole week you might get a proposal of marriage Ooh. and you've got 35 and you are in your house of power and money okay are you going to take care of your uh, material wealth yes that's the answer when you've got the anchor you have a yes you're coming home to a safe haven and you're staying there you feel safe there so that's the overall energy and you've got the seven of swords also now there might be somebody sneaky around you leaving hastily haste hastefully okay or somebody might have left hastefully and that is already the past so that's why i said learn from the past and this could be that female okay and the male because the male is lying on the shark okay so funnel it see who it could be funnel it and it could be a female but it could be a female that's giving you the message learn from the past wow this is mind blowing it still amazes me how the meanings of the cards and how i read them come out and they're always so different i could never ever imagine such a story or you know make a story of it never surrender defensiveness wow defensiveness you've closed yourself off okay defensiveness is a sign of weakness defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response okay Perhaps somebody has left sneakily because they didn't want a confrontation. Because they might have thought they would be cut down. Because usually they leave with five swords. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've taken the whole lot. But usually in other decks they leave with five and leave two behind. Okay. And will you usually say, um, I used to say, but that's not the definition, that is the basic meaning. The basic meaning means somebody's gone and left uh, something behind, but they left with something that did not belong to them. So they might have left you with a broken heart because they didn't want a confrontation because they think or thought they might be cut down. So the advice is, listen to somebody let them speak and be less defensive keep your life simple that is the inspiration card keeping life simple means having faith boom the heart of the cross that your spiritual connection flourishes in a life dedicated to joy love Okay, love and peace. If your daily activities are so overwhelming that you don't make these things your priority, you are disregarding the value of living a simple life. So keep your life simple.
there you go Aries I hope you've enjoyed this reading I wish you a beautiful week ahead and please share and like this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and I'll see you in the live I go live Monday Wednesday and Friday have a beautiful week and take care stay safe and be blessed